Johan Santana will try and keep him right there. Well, you can see his numbers so far in the season, those strikeouts, 120 and 130 innings. Most of those were in the first half of the season as Santana has struggled a little bit to put hitters away. Sam Holbrook is a guy that's always had a pretty large strike zone. And he gets him with a fastball to open the day. Instead of 92-93. In the air to center field, Pagan looking at it through the sunshine. And he grabs it for the second out. Can I tell you, he was just a, a, a pip to be around. Out to left center field, converging on it, Sullivan and Pagan, and Sullivan has it. A 1-2-3 opening inning for Johan Santana. Mm -hmm. Well, Gary, you mentioned Jason Hamill came over from the Tampa Bay Rockies. You can see his numbers. Angel Pagan, one for eight in this series, hitting a 295. And he pulls one down to Helton, and that's the first out of the inning. Two and one to Cora. And Alex lines one to center field. That'll fall for a base hit. Heck, they're in the top half of the league in pitching this year. Gets away momentarily for Ionetta. Cora takes off, and he is thrown out at second base. That ball took a favorable bounce for Ionetta right back to him after the ball briefly got away. Well, this is the play that the Mets worked on in spring training. The thing he got unlucky about Alex is that he saw it bounce high. He thought it would get far away from Ionetta. Good tag there by Smith. The problem, Stewart, I'm sorry. The problem is it hit David Wright. Again, the 3 2. Hit to right center field. Over goes Hop in the gap, and he runs it down to end the inning. Maybe the Giants have made the kind of move they need to try and keep that lead. 1 2 to Hop, and it's grounded out to Alex Cora, playing on the right side today, and he throws out Hop for the first down. Honesty and straight shooting. Swing and a miss. He got him with a changeup. You stand up at all and you watch Gak Atkins. He's down in that crouch. Watch his head. It'll move slightly up as the ball comes. No chance to keep it on the same plane. And Santana's retired the first six. The next day after you throw is the hard one. Murphy rips one down the right field line. And as Hop chases him in the corner, Murphy cruises into second base with a leadoff double. And he grounds one through the hole for a base hit. Murphy will be held at third as Hop hits the cutoff man. And the Mets have first and third and nobody out. Sullivan three for 18. And he lines one in the center field for a base hit. That'll bring home Murphy with the first run of the game. Three straight hits all hit hard. And it's 1-0 New York. Back up the middle. Tulowitzki can't get it. That'll bring home Frank Kaur. Four straight hits for New York, and they lead 2-0. Omer Santos with the RBI single. And Barola lines a base hit in the right center field. Sullivan comes in to score. Play deep in the gap and bobbled out there by Hoff. That'll bring home Santos, and Barola goes all the way to third. Four to nothing, New York. Again, beautiful hitting here by another Mets hitter. Ball in the middle of the plate, not trying to do too much. Stroking that ball the other way. And of course, a misplay here by Hop. Well, really, Hop and Fowler both misplayed that. And Angel busting out of the box with a look. Really thinks he has a double here, but looks at his coach. Razor shines, gets the pickup, and makes his way to third base. And Santana down swinging on the pitch in the dirt. That'll force Ionetta to throw it down to first. Grounded toward the hole and a base hit. So with the infield playing in, Pagan takes advantage by driving in Baroa. Six hits in the inning and a 5-0 Met lead. As the veteran Josh Fogg comes on in long relief for the Rockies. And he pitched in last night's game, struggled a lot with his slider. Mount Rushmore shirt as the runner goes and it's grounded down to Helton, whose only play is to first. And that's the second out as Pagan takes second. Reliable right-hander had difficulty throwing strikes. Pagan takes off for third. Wright dumps one into shallow right center, but back to play it is Stewart to end the inning. Rough and ready, ready to go. Just wants to play anywhere. Rolls over one down to first base. And Murphy will take it himself. Seven up and seven down for Santana. In the air to left field, shallow. And Sullivan coming on. Of course, Braun had a, a spectacular year. And Fogg picks up the first base hit of the day for the Rockies. So after Santana had set down the first eight, it is the long relief man who gets the first hit. 
the Harvard. Swing and a miss. And Santana has his fourth strikeout. Murphy lifts one to left field. That chases Spielborg's back. It's carrying well, but Spielborg's back to grab it. Although I did tell Jerry that uh, that makes Frank Core the second best schoolboy football player in Mets uniform. Uh, John Stearns? Behind, or are you? Behind Jerry. A hitting defensive back. Kind of like a linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> Sullivan down swinging. How about having him setting up K Rod late in the game? Rolled out to shortstop where Barroa's got it. And he retires Spillboard's one away. It's usually a bullet from him. Lines one the other way, and he's got himself a base hit. Sullivan slides to play it, and again he'll hold Helton to a single. Easy play for Sullivan. And Hop retired, two down. That was the first day Murphy played first base, was May the 20th in L.A. Tulowitzki drives one toward left center field. That's going to fall for a base hit, but Sullivan does cut it off, and that'll keep Helton from thinking about scoring. It's a double for Tulowitzki, but Sullivan with another nice play to cut that ball off in the gap. Back with fastball in. And he walks Atkins. And they bypass this one as well as Santana gets Stewart to strand three. 2006. Grounded to shortstop. So the whiskey runs around it and throws out Santos. What? I get it together. Are there any jungles in the uh, New York metro area? Oh, all over the place. You've been in the Bronx? <laughs> <laughs> I set myself up for that one, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> and I like the fact that he's wearing his Mets cap, his blue Mets cap. Now that's a real fan. What a concept. You'll also see him throw a few more slider and cutters to right-handed hitters when he's not feeling that he has that good fastball. But that's a good one right there. Baroa feels the ground ball. And Santana's got the second out in the fifth. Boy, are you kidding me? Paul Richards was the manager. Push bunt by Fowler and a good one. Murphy can't possibly get it to Santana who's going to have to run it down in foul ground and uh, stumbles a bit could have really hurt himself but Fowler had already held at first base it was 0 for 2 and he hits the first pitch in the air to right and Frank Cora right there I, I basically felt that I was out of character that, uh, in uh, saying what I said um, that day uh, I let the, the, the emotions uh, get to me uh, on that day. Um, I felt really bad. And nourished. A little bloop by Cora. And tulowitzki has got it for the first down. And trying to get this team close until other people come back. That should get a run in. Hop is under it. Pagan heading home. And he will score easily. And the Mets now have a 6-0 lead. And he lines this one to center field. Fowler moving over to grab it and end the inning. Some of the camp groups that are here today for the noontime start. Part of the batting order, Todd Hilton, first pitch swinging. Grounds one out to Alex Coral. One pitch and one out for Santana. Well, sometimes they become closer than your family. Hop hits one deep to left. Sullivan back onto the track and makes the grab. Boy, Corey Sullivan has had himself quite a game out in left field. Popped up. Murphy coming in from first base to make the call, and he's got the sunglasses on. A 1 2 3 inning for Johan Santana. Juan Rincon. Well, the veteran who did most of his finest work when he was a Minnesota twin as a setup man had a struggle in his first game of this series throwing strikes and ended up getting the loss. Looking for a little better outing this time. Gave up the grand slam to Tatis. So Rincon was charged with three runs. Gets knocked onto his heels by that Frank Kerr comebacker. Six, seven years. And Sullivan drives one toward the gap in right center. That one's going to go all the way back to the warning track. Sullivan's going to take the turn at second and head on to third. And he will make it easily with his first triple as a man. Oh, hitting it the other way, that's the key. And he hits it to the right side, runner holding. As Helton takes it to the bag for the second out. So not a contact play as Sullivan stays at third. Why he's doing it. Oh, and he almost threw it to the backstop on ball four. <laughs> 
And Santana down on three pitches to end the inning. Kevin with the microphone to the right. Garrett Atkins hits it to center. Pagan started back, but plenty of time to come in and grab it. One out. This will be the hundredth pitch from Santana today, and he gets Stewart swinging. Seven strikeouts now for Johan. At this point in the season, sometimes when you got this kind of a lead, nice to save a couple of pellets for maybe later when it really matters. For instance, uh, Joe Torre started out his managerial career as Pagan goes down swinging, have traded away their four highest salaried players. As Cora lofts one into right field, and that's going to fall for a hit. Takes a turn and holds on as Hop gets to it. And so Alex Cora has his second straight two hit game to what the Pirates are trying to do because as Wright lifts one to deep right center field, Hop and Fowler back in the gap, and Hop can't get it. It's off the wall. Cora being waved around third by Razor Shines. Relay throw to the plate, not in time. It's an RBI double for David Wright. Well, David Wright's hits are going to right and right center field. Hop got a little wary of the wall, which is justifiably so. And Alex Cora, of course, checking out to see if there's going to be a play. Gets on second base, a little hesitation, and now picking up Razor. And had enough to score easily for another RBI. And Murphy hits it sharply right at Stewart. Uh, Duke, of course, is, uh, is outstanding. Another ball hit hard. Francone gets knocked down and gets up to make the play on Frank Cora to end the inning. Frank Kerr taken out a pitcher. Good play by Rincon to recover. Bobby Parnell in. Hasn't given up a run in his last eight and a third innings. Uh, have your lunch at the, at the time you like to have your lunch. If you like to take a nap, take your nap as Fowler goes down. Who they say have knowledge of the results. Rounded to the right side. Cora runs it down. It's only played at first. 2 2 to Helton. Lift it to left, and Sullivan is there. And so Bobby Parnell works around the leadoff walk to keep the Rockies off the scoreboard. Still 7 0 New York. And the Queens native and Garden City High School product Matt Daly makes his second appearance in the series. And Sullivan lifts another one to right center field, not as far this time, and Fowler gets back there to grab it. In that speech. Santos down swinging on three pitches. They have ridden that to a 7 0 lead. And Carlos Gonzalez has this one lined up in right field. And so it's a 1 2 3 inning. Tim Redding will try and complete the shutout. Hasn't pitched in 11 days since the 19th. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. So Redding goes upstairs. And there's a walk to Tulowitzki. Oh, Mets fans want to hear. It toward the hole. Nice stop by Wright. Gets the out at second, but it's dropped and it's not an out. He's safe at second base. 3 2. Down to first base. Murphy gets the out at second. Barroa the jumping relay in time for the game ending double play. 3 to 6 to 1. Murphy starts another one, and the Mets have their second straight shutout for the first time in more than a year. They've now won five games in a row and gotten back to within two games of 500. And they're doing it the way you're supposed to do it with some fine pitching, starting off with their ace Santana today. Some timely hitting. They're able to string five hits together, six in the one inning, the second inning of the game. And Jerry Manuel's got to be thinking to himself, boy, this could be the best day in the whole season.